must be the Tarnished. I am Ansbach. Formerly in service to Lord Moog. But now, like you, another soul guided by kindly Mikola. I'm hardly the steady hand I once was. My fighting days are far behind me. Which is why I have chosen to dedicate myself to investigation. To discern Tender Mikola's ultimate purpose. I'd rather not volunteer service to a new master, unless I know that I can be of use. May I request a service of you? Six crosses, identical to this one, have been discovered in these lands. They are akin to Tender Mikola's footprints, or gravestones, which mark what he's left behind. If you discover any more crosses, be certain to tell me. I presume you, too, are keen to know just what kind Mikola is doing here. Righteous Tarnished, what brings you here? Oh, you must mean some more. Some more is a kind and stalwart ally. He provisions our little outfit. Some more traffics with the forager brood. His brethren, who collect supplies from all corners of the land. No doubt they find inspiration in his many virtues. These are not your foes, Tarnished. Should you spot any forager brood, be sure to mind your manners.
Righteous tarnished. What brings you here? Well, I'm much obliged. As suspected, kindly Mikola has visited the lands which hold the tower, and appears intent on wholly dispossessing himself of his flesh. He must be seeking entrance to the Tower of Shadow. Righteous tarnished. What brings you here? Well, I am much obliged to think there was a cross left in such a faraway place, and the deep purple water lilies would be blooming there. This can only mean kindly Mikola has divested himself even of that. His adoring other self, his blossom of slumber.
Righteous tarnished. What brings you here? Well, I am much obliged. I can hardly believe it. He's divested himself of his very eye. Tender Mikola's eye is no mere morsel of flesh. It is a vessel of soaring grace. Proof of his Empyrean lineage. I wonder, does Mikola the kind intend to sever his very birthright? His fate as a child of the earth tree? Righteous tarnished. I have reasoned through my findings. Concerning kind Mikola's intentions, why he is here. The full picture is yet to coalesce, but we do know that he is bound for the Tower of Shadow, and that is where he intends to rise to true godhood. The Tower of Shadow houses a divine gateway. A well-kept secret it was, but the gateway was once the birthplace of a god. A god we know all too well. discarded his great rule. The fog that vexed my aging faculties has been lifted, and follies better left forgotten haunt me once again. <sighs> once, in an attempt to free Lord Moog from his enchantment, I challenged tender Mikola, only to have my own heart rather artfully stolen. I knew not how weak I was. I believed that with sufficient mastery, even an Empyrean would be within reach of my blade. I could not have been more mistaken. Mikola the Kind is a monster, pure and radiant. He wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. There is nothing more terrifying. Righteous tarnished, Mikola the Kind makes my blood run cold. I am loath to admit it. But even at this very instant, I wish to run very far away indeed. Just tarnished. It's been some time. After unburdening my soul to you, I had hoped to make a fresh start. But there was one thought I could not dislodge from my mind. So, here I am, quite unable to move on. After Lord Moke's slaying at his dynastic palace, it appears his body has been absconded with and taken straight to kind Mikola. Surely you recall that I once served Lord Moog as a pure-blood knight, after failing him in every regard, and losing sight of my vows. I'd do anything to make amends, in whatever meager way I can. What could they possibly have in mind for Lord Moog's remains? The implications are rather... unnerving.
afraid I'm busy. A curse upon my lack of foresight. I should have asked Anne's back to impart his knowledge when I had the chance. I'm afraid I'm busy. Truly. I should have asked Anne's back to impart his knowledge when I had the chance. I'm afraid I'm truly. possibly have in mind for Lord Moog's remains. The implications are rather... unnerving. Well, what's this? Yes. Yes, I should have known. Even the truth was itself mere folly. As if using Lord Moog to gain entrance to the Land of Shadow were not enough, he plans to use his corpse as the vessel of his king consort. He has forsaken Lord Moog's soul. He desires only his empty shell. It beggars belief, but I'm afraid Tendamikola fails to grasp the humiliation implied by this act. One thing is certain. My dear lord deserved better. Righteous tarnished. You have my gratitude. You have given me the answers I needed, but I can hardly fathom it. Such folly unto the end. I am a warrior, but I've aged. I cannot afford to act hastily. I know my limits. I could spend the rest of my life honing my craft, and still that creature would be out of my blade's reach. The absolute folly of it all. Freya by the gods. She must be feeling the need to reaffirm her allegiance before she heads to war. A true red mane she is. Hardly troubled by the rot. Righteous tarnished. Could you please give this to Freya? Thanks to you, she too will have the answer she requires. Yes. I can see her barreling into the fray right now. Perhaps I shouldn't meddle in her affairs, but this is the only way I can help. Perhaps I shouldn't, but this is the only... I'm busy. Truly. I should have asked Anne's back to impart his knowledge when I had the chance. From Sir Anne's back? To me? What on earth could it... Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Of course. I see. As the Festival of War concluded, General Redan's soul met an honourable end. But kindly Mikola wishes to revive it. Which is fine by me. I know it would pain old Jeren, but war has always suited General Radan best, and certainly far more than any honorable death. Endless war to invigorate the soul, as befits General Radan, the Great Lion. Thank you. Now I finally cast off my misgivings. Give my regards to Honorable Ansbach. Tell him. If we should meet in battle, to face your bow would be fine enough, but to face your blade would be an honor. All that remains is the fight for our kind Mikola.
quite some time. <laughs> it was never kindly Mikula, was it? The Earth Tree was leading you all along, so that you might ascend to Lordship. Why come to these lands to begin with? I suppose it must be what his eminence, or perhaps the Earth Tree, desired all along. The clashing of the favored lords. Such that one would prevail, so be it. If you insist upon facing Mikula the kind, then I will run you through whoever you might be. Don't tarry now. Don't you dare approach Mikula the kind. Needle Knight's letter, Dryleaf Dane, and our allies will never allow this. I am the Red Mane Freya. The time has come. We are hope for a worthier foe. This is our moment. Let's make it something to remember. Knowing what you 
Just tarnished. That was an astounding battle, to be sure. Now I suppose this leaves only one. But in truth, I cannot calm my quivering. Challenging a god is no small matter. I'm afraid I underestimated the lad. Appearing frail in both body and mind, I presumed it'd be like to stumble upon the field of battle. What a fool I was. He serves another master, but Satyolier performed magnificently. Perhaps he too quivers with anticipation, as do we. Oh. Something you want to get off your chest? Well, you needn't worry. It was you, wasn't it? Who defeated Lord Moog. Uh, fear not. I bear no grudge against you. His eminence was felled in an honorable duel. And such are the risks of seeking lordship. Besides, what right have I to complain? I blame the enchantment more than anything. Righteous tarnished, we will have our victory. I swear upon my blood. will ever be praised in song. Now, the vow will be honored, and my lord brother's soul will return, so that he may be my consort.
Lord Brother. At long last you are returned. the world 
a gentle.